Hey, 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 Medical Made Easy, and another one. Um, this is gonna go over how you can use an NG tube to help tease out uh, possibly the location of upper GI bleed. Really why this is important and why we teach Tori in terms of med studs is because um, uh, the physiology and thinking through how pylorus works and the stomach works, et cetera, is, is kind of important. So esophagus, stomach, duo, right? Here would be our, our pylorus or pyloric valve. Uh, and then, you know, so this patient comes in, they have melina um, or brown blood rectum or uh, yeah, throwing up coffee grounds or whatever and they get an NG tube, nasogastric tube comes down and it curls up or it goes up in the cardio or wherever. If you suck in the NG tube, depending on what comes out, it can help you tease out um, you know, where this blood might be coming from. So first, let's say the easy one, right? Let's say you put your NG tube down and you just suck out bright red blood. Well, that's easy. That means that somewhere up here in the upper GI tract, um, you know, like in the foregut, et cetera, that there's some bleeding source. So you don't necessarily need to stick a, colonoscope up their back end, you, you know, stick an EGD down their top end or whatever. That, that would change your um, uh, treatment accordingly. And that's the easy one, blood. Okay, now let's say that uh, you get bile. All right, so what does that mean? Bile, which comes in from the ampulla down here, in order for it to track back, it means that you have an incompetent pylorus or the pylorus was open for amount of time and allowed the bile to come back up this way through the pylorus in the stomach. And since you're only getting out bile, you're not getting out blood, you know that either A, the bleeding has stopped, or B, the bleeding source is not from the foregut. So you look somewhere else. You look in their midgut, hindgut, etc. Okay, so bile would be negative, blood would be positive. Um, and then lastly, let's say you get gastric contents or clear or yellow, etc. Uh, and so you don't really know. Um, you can rule out stomach and esophagus, um, but you, you, with that pylorus intact, the, you know, you might have a bleeding peptic ulcer right here. And so you're getting melina and you're stuck it on your NG tube and you're like, oh man, you know, I'm just getting back yellow stuff. So it can't be from here. So we got to do a colonoscopy or CT angiogram with the abdomen pelvis or whatever. Um, but you're missing this. So this is, you don't know. You're kind of hoping you get back either blood you know, bright red blood, or um, you're hoping to get back non-bloody bile. Um, if you get clear, um, you need to keep looking. And you, in, real, you know, in reality, you'd probably keep looking either way. But uh, just thinking through how the pylorus works, where the ampulla is, um, how an NG tube works, etc. Um, that's how an NG tube can kind of help you with upper GI bleeds. Thanks.